That's it, bro. I've had enough. I'm tired of beating up on scrubs in Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter and acting like I'm good. And I'm tired of getting beat up by people that are actually good at the game. It's about time I get good at a fighting game. And Tekken is gonna be the one. Mark my words. Alright y'all, so for this first match, nothing too exciting really happened. I really just wanted to put this match in because it was my promotion match from Ranger to Calvary. And I really wanted to give y'all that starting from the bottom experience. If you guys want to see me play my first ever Tekken ranked match, then you guys can watch the video that I put in the description for y'all. That move is very annoying by the way. But I ended up winning all three rounds to promote against this guy. Then we ended up playing again, and I just did the same thing again. <laughs> So when it comes to getting good at Tekken, my main goal is to try to hit Mighty Ruler because that is the rank that most people would consider that you're pretty good at the game if you hit it. Now there are a few people that say that you're not actually good at the game until you hit Blue Rank, but for someone who's never played any of the previous Tekken games, I would say Purple Rank is pretty good. Now my main problems when it comes to getting good at fighting games is that I don't really stay committed and I get way too anxious whenever I get close to ranking up. So I looked up on Google how to stay committed to a fighting game and I quickly noticed having a training buddy and getting advice from other players because that was something I was definitely lacking in Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. So, I went ahead and joined a Discord server, Tekken Unchained. I would then ask if anyone could help me out at getting better at the game, in which I would then meet a cool dude named Astral. Now, this dude Astral gave me the rundown. So, I quickly added him, and just like any other cliche fighting story, I had to 1v1 my new sensei. Get ready for the next battle. Now off rip, I already wasn't that confident in winning this match because this guy was already enraging. Which, for those who aren't familiar with the Tekken rank system, here's my rank right here, and here's his rank. All the way over here. But, I still wanted to show this guy everything I had so he can give me the best coaching possible. Unfortunately, I didn't really get to show much of anything because he would beat me in the first round with ease. And with the second round, I was able to get a little bit more damage in, but he still beat me pretty convincingly. And it was at this point in round three where I was thinking like, man, this dude is in a whole nother league than me. He's Weep. micro ducking my grabs. There's not really much I can do. But I was then able to get a very, very lucky grab that led to a ton of damage and then he would whiff a move that i would punish to win the round now obviously i was ecstatic because i just got a round on a guy that was much higher of a rank than me but the celebration didn't last too long as he would beat me in the last round very easily as well obviously we had to run it back to complete the set and i'm thinking this guy must have me figured out by now and he's probably gonna beat me flawlessly and he kind of demonstrates that hey. in round one but round two was a completely different story I almost got a perfect on this guy, but of course he was not going to let that happen. But I still ended up winning the round because I panicked and just threw out my heat smash. Now in the next round, he would return the favor and show me how getting a perfect is really done. Now round four was actually very interesting because it definitely wasn't pretty, but I was still able to get another round on this guy. It all came down to the final round. I was able to chip away at his health bar a little bit by getting some good punishes in, and I was on fire and oozing with confidence this is it a cavalry player that's new to Tekken was about to be a raging player we and just like high school me who was trying to talk to my crush I sold the bag badly. I think I definitely still put up a really, really good fight, and me and Astro would spend the next 30 minutes talking about how I can improve my gameplay. The next day, I would load up Tekken feeling as confident as ever. Get ready for the next battle. Now, Midnight Siege is without a doubt one of my least favorite stages. It's dark, it's grimy, it's super close quarters, and it's very easy to get overwhelmed. But nonetheless, I was still able to beat this guy very easily. Yeah. 
So I guess I just lost all of my skill overnight or something. I mean, oh, wait, hold on. Does that say promotion match? Now, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but whenever I'm not doing YouTube, I'm actually a D1 hater, an all-star hater, a Premier League hater. So I obviously could not Boy, let this happen. Get I managed to win the first round by getting a huge grab at the end of the round. This was the most awkward sequence I've ever seen. Nonetheless, I would still win the third round because I just kept using the same move over and over and he would keep falling for it. And then I was able to get the job done with ease for real this time. That's right, now it says promotion next to my name, which means if I won this match, I would be out of green ranks and into yellow ranks, so you know I had to tee up. The first round was very back and forth, a lot of my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn, but I was able to chip away at his health enough to get the round. With round two, he was able to get some solid hits in because I was pressing buttons when I wasn't supposed to, which led me to going for lows over and over and over, and he would fall for it over and over and over, and I was low enough to finish off the round with my rage art. I would start off round three with a very quick punish which now that i'm looking back at this footage i don't really know if i did that on purpose or not but at this point i think this guy kind of just gave up because i absolutely dominated this round and i had a very very humble reaction to it i'm just the i'm just the better player and with that your boy was now in warrior rank get ready for the next <clears throat> battle all right, now this is where it starts getting real. We're in yellow rank now, which means if I lose too much, I have the possibility of demoting. So I had to be on my A game against this guy. Ho hold on, bro. We still dropping combos? We in yellow rank? Yeah, you deserve to lose the round after that one. I ain't gonna hold you. Now, before we continue on with the commentary, let me just address how satisfying this looked. I swear, I promise you I did not do that on purpose. But with my first opponent in yellow rank, I was able to make easy work out of him. But this guy was a little bit different. And off the rip, I noticed that he was a very, very aggressive player. So even though this was very, very satisfying to look at... My defense was definitely not good enough to be playing too passive against this guy. So with the next game, I knew I had some adjustments to make. So in the first round, I tried matching his energy by playing aggressively myself, but this kind of led to me neglecting my defense and pressing buttons when it wasn't my turn. So with the second round, I was kind of able to find the perfect mix between both. And for the most part, the round was going my way, but then he would pop his rage art out of nowhere that did just enough damage to kill me. And just like that, I'm down 0-2 against this guy again, even though I thought I was playing better, but they didn't give me an S and come back for nothing. So the fourth round was pretty back and forth, and I ended up dropping this combo that probably would have killed him right then and there, but my go-to panic move saved me. Now the start of round five was not looking good for me, but I was able to stay poised, get the punishes I needed, and put in some good damage. My heart sunk so badly at this moment, but his health was too low for him to get off the move. The stakes were so high in the final round, and once again, it was super back and forth, but I'll go ahead and let the last few moments of the round speak for themselves. Yeah, I know he was mad. And going into this final game, I knew exactly what I needed to do to beat him. And I was able to demonstrate that pretty convincingly in the first round. But in the second round, I got extremely lucky because this had to have been a misinput. Stupid! What an idiot, why did he do that? But to close out the game, I was finally able to give him a taste of his own medicine and beat him with my rage art. Now it was time for my first test in Tekken. Well, not necessarily a test, more like a quiz leading up to the test. My promotion match to assailant. 